Okay, looks like we're good to go. Whoa, Park Ranger! Ooh. Park Ranger OB, man, what's wrong, man? You're all like out of breath there and everything. There's a raptor outside and it was chasing me and I barely even got away and... Yeah! Wow, that's a good thing you got away, man. You know, all these raptors and T-Rex running around. Ever since the Dynamaster left, the raptors and the T-Rex took down our paddock fences. A little bit of my help yeah. there. Man, it's just been complete chaos around here, hasn't yeah. it? Hey, what are you doing? I was just checking our supplies to make sure we'll be good to hang out here at T-Rex Ranch while that virus is out there everywhere. What do you mean? So there's this germ that's out there and it causes some people to get really sick. So we gotta make sure we don't catch it because we don't wanna risk giving it to the dinosaurs. That could be really bad. What? And they've even closed dino school. What? Just to make sure everybody stays safe. Oh, yeah. And doctors are asking everybody to stay home so they don't catch it or oh. spread it. Okay. So, how long are we going to be cooped up in Dino HQ? Well, we really don't know yet how long we're going to be here because there's all these scientists, they're doing research to try to beat this bug. But it could be a little while, so we just kind of hang out here, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, what can we do to prevent getting it? Well, now that you mention it, there are a couple of really important things we can do, like using the proper sneeze and cough procedure. What? I bet you didn't even know there was a procedure for sneezing and coughing, did you? Oh, no. Okay, it goes like this. One, two, three. <laughs> Like that, huh? Okay, let me try. <laughs> yeah, that's it, perfect. Just like that, man. Okay, yeah. you can go right, you got that one down. And then the other thing you can do is make sure you wash your hands often and for 20 seconds. Ooh, 20 seconds. Yeah, you're gonna turn on the water, do a little soap, and count to 20. Or you can just sing the happy birthday song twice, okay? Oh. Happy birthday to you. Nah, happy nah, birthday nah, to nah, you. Nah, 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 nah. Happy birthday. What, what? What's wrong with that? I man? got a way better idea. You got a better idea? What are we going to do? How about we have to do dinosaur stuff? So let's sing the T Rex Ranch song. Oh, yeah. I bet part of that would be 20 seconds. Yeah. Okay, here, why don't you come over here and wash your hands? Okay. How tiny, okay? All right, on your mark, set, go. T Rex Ranch is the place I want to be. All the creatures running free. Come join me! T Rex Ranch has a mighty dino roar from our favorite dinosaur. Come join me! Ha ha ha! Now you're getting it. Ha ha ha! Come join me! Ha ha ha! Come join me! Hey! That was right at 20 seconds there. Yeah! Okay, there you go. All right. So, now you know how to practice good hygiene, okay? Yeah! Okay, man, let's go sit down over here and figure out what to do. Yeah. All right. That was good work, practicing good hygiene there, okay? Yeah, but what if we still get sick? You know, it could happen, I guess, but the doctors are saying that most people who catch it don't get very sick, okay? Oh, okay. And they're gonna be fine, but you know what? We gotta be careful because older people can get really sick. Which means we gotta watch out for the dinosaurs because they're like 65 million years old. That's really old, okay? Whoa. We don't want them to get sick now, okay? Yeah. Alright, so let's just keep washing our hands okay. and we'll be good, okay? Yeah. okay. Important thing though is not to panic. Yeah. So what are we gonna do? That's a good question. I hadn't really thought that far ahead. Let's see. Ooh, I know. What? Got an idea. Let's go check it out over here. Check this out right here. We're gonna use this right there. Hey. Okay, got a little bag there, okay? And then you need these shish kebab sticks right here. What? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, some, real hot dogs or something? No, 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 okay. And then pick a color here, one of these food colorings there, okay? Hmm. Great. Great, okay, ha. put that back. Okay, that'll work. Hmm. Let's what go try this doing? experiment, huh? Oh, okay, let's go. We're gonna need some water for this experiment. Water. So let's use this water hose right over here, okay? Okay. Yeah, there we go, right there. Watch out with that thing, oh. man. Okay, wait, yeah, oh yeah, we gotta put the water in the bag, okay? All right, here we go. Ah! 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 You got me ah! in the seas, ah! Go. Okay, that's good, I think. Now, you got the food coloring there, huh? Yep. Just keep turning it. Be careful. That stuff will stain. Yeah. All right, here. Put about two drops in there. All right, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Now. Great. Ooh, yeah, there we go. It looks like grape juice now, doesn't it? Huh. But you got to shake it up, okay? There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. You ready? 
ready for this. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I am going to put this stick through this bag. No! And it's, it's not it. going to leak. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Watch this. Here we go. Like, yeah, huh? Huh? all the way through, huh? Why? All right. Here, you want to try one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try that one there. There, oh. right there. Oh. <laughs> how about, how about, how about, how about, we do this? how about we do one kind of an upward angle there? There we go. There we go. <laughs> there. Look at that. Okay, you got one more left here. All right. Uh, oh, wait, now you're up in the atmosphere there. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, yeah, there we go, there we go. Awesome! Oh, huh? So cool! Okay, you want to know why it doesn't leak? Why? Because this bag is made out of what's called a polymer, okay? That's what this plastic is. It's like molecules that are all connected together in a long chain. It kind of looks like spaghetti if you could actually see it. It'd be like a whole bunch of spaghetti, and then you put the sticks in between all the spaghetti like that, okay? Oh, like yeah. that. And it makes a seal around it so it doesn't leak. Oh, yeah. The problem is we made a hole. So when we pull it out, watch what happens. Let's go over here. I don't want to put this on the patio. Here. What do you mean? All right, you want to pull one of those bad boys yeah. out? Okay. What? Uh, yeah, the water's oh. coming out now because. Whoa, whoa. There you go. <laughs> That's because you left a hole between the spaghetti. The last one. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! There we go. All right, that's a pretty cool experiment, isn't it? Huh? Yeah! But for some reason, it's making me hungry. Hungry? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. I got it taken care of there in the pantry in the kitchen. Ooh. Let's take this inside and go have some okay, food. Let's go. Good, good, good. All right, check this out. Looky here. Whole pantry full of beans right there. Okay? We're gonna have all the beans we need to wait this thing out here at T Rex oh, Ranch, okay? Oh, no. this is gonna be stinky time at T Rex Ranch. Yeah, I guess it could be a stinky time. <gasps> hey, look. It's tiny. Tiny? The baby Apatosaurus. Yeah. I forgot to feed the baby dinosaurs today. Oh. Okay. You know what? This could be a problem feeding them while this is all going on. Yeah. We better get outside and come up with a plan, okay? Come okay. on, let's go. Let's go. Ha. All right, Park Ranger will be. Let's go feed these baby dinosaurs. Let's get taken go. care of here. Okay. Wait a minute. What, 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 what? I thought we weren't supposed to go near the dinosaurs because we might give them the germ. Yeah, you're right. That could be bad. If I, I don't think we've got the germ, but you're right. We don't want to give it to them. So you know what we do? What? We stay six feet away from them, okay? Oh! This is like from one tip of my fingers to the other tip. That's about six feet. So you yeah. need to keep your distance from the babies when you're feeding them, and then that way, they, even if we did have it, they won't catch it then, yeah. okay? Wait, that would make feeding a lot harder. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's going to make feeding them pretty hard. Yeah. We can't get up close to the dinosaurs yeah. to feed them. What are you going to do? You need a plan. You need a plan. You need a plan. I got an idea! What? How about we feed the baby dinosaurs here? Oh, here in the Dino garage? Dino HQ, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, I know. We'll take these buckets here. They oh, have the feed yeah. in them. And we'll just put these over here hmm. like that. We'll make like a feeding station, like then come right up. Here, we're just buckets. There we go. Here okay. We Dino Depot hey, buckets. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why? How are we gonna get them to come back to Dino HQ? Oh, haven't really thought of that yet. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Hey, looky here. Ooh. These are the dino lures we've been working on. Wow. We'll go out, and I, you know how they love to respond to shiny things. Yeah. Okay, let's go out. We'll see if we can lure them back, okay? Yeah, right, let's go. Let's go. See any dinosaurs anywhere? Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh man, Just watch out! Man. Okay. I think there's a thunderstorm coming. We better hurry up and find these babies. Uh oh. Huh? The fork in the road, road, huh? What we do now, huh? What do you think? Oh, 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 oh. That storm's getting close. Yeah. We better hurry up and find these babies and lure them back to Dino HQ before the storm gets here. Yeah. We'll never find oh. them after the rain. Okay, what are we doing? Here? There's only one thing we can do. What? You have to go that way, and I have to go that way. Okay, well, let's see if you can find a baby dinosaur. Here we go. Okay, let's get ready. Okay, baby dinosaur. Come here. Come here. 
know you're out here. Look, it's a raptor! Oh, I'm on a raptor. Oh yeah, I know you want it, yeah. We gotta get you inside and feed you before the storm gets here. Ooh, yeah, see, it's almost here. Any second now, okay? It's gonna start raining hard. Look, <laughs> it's a baby triceratops. Okay, baby triceratops. A raptor. Raptor, oh, look what I got here. Yeah, you want your little toy, huh? Yeah, no, no, over here. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, come here. Follow me. You want me to hold up. Come on, you know, you want to follow me back to Dino HQ, okay? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. No, yeah. Don't, don't lose. Don't lose attention on the little shiny thing there, okay? Come on, Triceratops. Let's go. You're going fast! <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Stay with me, Triceratops. Come on, Raptor! Whoa. <gasps> come on, Raptor! Quick, hide, 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 hide. They're coming, they're coming. Yeah, they're in. Okay, I'll get the garage door. <laughs> it's so hot. Will this heat wave never end? Can we at least go under some shade? Just a few more feet. We can go back inside once we try my new gadget. Uh, I feel like a vampire. Oh. I proudly present my latest invention, the Veggie Fixer 6000. Uh, that's not the invention we need. We, we need a fan or an air conditioner or a fan with an air conditioner on it or an air conditioner with a fan in it that boosts cold air to an air conditioned fan. Actually, we do need it, because now rappers will only eat fried chicken. Yeah, ever since they stole our fried chicken from our last picnic. Can't really blame them, though. True, but it's not very good for you, which is why you use the veggie fixer to make them healthy again. Demonstrate. First, you grab your broccoli, place it into here, turn the knob, and then press the button. Voila! Fried chicken! Well, how be? <laughs> smells like broccoli! Well, it looks like fried chicken, which means the raptor will eat it before they knew they had a healthy meal. Uh, even I wouldn't fall for that, and I have the world's record for gullibility! Well, at least that's what they tell me. Actually, uh, I think you should go back to Dino HQ and watch the baby dinos. I can finish this on my own. Good plan. I am most helpful when I'm not around to help. See you later. Hmm. It does smell like broccoli. Oh, it's so hot out there. If it gets any hotter, I'm a scream. 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 <gasps> no! Ice cream! What a brilliant idea! Ice cream. Let's see. Oh, nothing better on a hot day than a good old fashioned bowl of ice cream. Oh, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, hi, Sneaker. You want some ice cream too? I'm not sure I should give a baby dino ice cream. What would Park Ranger Asher say? Don't give baby dinos ice cream. Yeah, I don't like that answer either. Let me try to imagine it again. Go ahead, give the baby dino ice cream. Eh, that's much better. Hey, that's not what it said. Uh, no time to argue, gotta go ice cream melting. <laughs> okay, Sneaker, let me get you some ice cream. Raptor's approaching the food. He's taking it. No, he's not. 
He's smelling something else. And he's running away. Gosh, something else caught his attention. I wonder what. This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Refreshing. I'm coming, I'm coming. Almost done. Put the lid on, and put the ice cream back in the freezer. Here we go. A nice bowl of ice cream. Hey, who ate the ice cream? Did you eat the ice cream? No, oh, you couldn't get up there. Huh, is it possible I ate it and I don't remember? Seems possible to me. Hmm. Well, if I ate it and I don't remember, then it doesn't count. Time for more ice cream. Here we go, here we go, here we go! And there we went. Oh, 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 look at this. This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Oh, it's gonna be so good, I hope I remember eating it this time. Woo perfect. Put a little spoon in and, you know, could really use some sprinkles. No. Why don't I carry sprinkles on me? All right, next time, I'll put that on the list. <laughs> and... What the? Now I know I did not eat that bowl of ice cream. Did I? Hey, did you eat the ice cream in that bowl? How? I'm in your imagination. Hey, I'm not accusing, I'm just asking. Just get more ice cream. That's the best idea you had all day. At least you're not trying to talk me into eating that broccoli fried chicken like you are those raptors. No, there's no signs of raptors at all. Maybe Park Ranger Andy was right. Maybe it's not too hot to do it today. Where could they possibly be going? <laughs> now I specifically remember not eating that one. We have an ice cream eater around here somewhere. Oh. Who is eating all of my ice cream? <laughs> Can I for me? Can I you? From your back so soon. Yeah, the raptors wouldn't eat any of my broccoli fried chicken. Probably because it's so hot. It is, but is it hot enough to steal a baby dino's ice cream? What are you talking about? Let me smell your breath. Does it smell like ice cream? That's because I didn't have any. Does it make sense? Look, I come over here and I take an empty bowl. And I bring the empty bowl to the freezer. And I take out the ice cream. Put the ice cream down on the counter. And I take the ice cream scoop. And I scoop us some ice cream. Ooh, look at that ice cream. I don't lick the spoon, even though I really want to. Fill up the bowl. And then put the lid back on the ice cream. And I put it back. And now I have my delicious bowl of ice cream, and I walk it over to the table, and look, the ice cream's gone! What? It's just gone? Like that? It's just like that! Who is stealing all our ice cream? I'm not so sure. That means we have to solve this problem scientifically. Does that involve eating ice cream? No, but it does include bait and observing, just like I did with the raptors and my Veggie Fixer 6000. That's not as fun as eating ice cream. First of all, we need more ice cream. Way ahead of you. Hey, 
Hey, ice cream service. That's your service. Hey, hey, thanks a lot, my friend. Good to see ya. You think that's safe? Getting a delivery guy to a secret ranch? Did you see that guy's face? Look trustworthy to me. If you say so. Now, for step one, set the trap. Step two, hide and watch. Mm, I would love a ice cream Sunday. Huh, but today's Friday. So? So if you want ice cream Sunday, you gotta wait two more days. How about we just observe in silence? It's an ice cream asaurus! That's why they're not eating from my invention, because you stuffed them with ice cream. And they didn't even thank me. How many of them you think there are? Let's look. Let's go. Maybe we should just give them ice cream. Maybe you're right. But now we're out of ice cream. Way ahead of ya. Ice cream delivery. Five minutes or it's free. Here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. And by the way, you got a lot of ruptures out here. Uh, you trust that delivery guy? He looks honest to me. Now, how about some ice cream? Here you go. Are you sure it's okay to get baby Dino's ice cream? Well, if it's okay for Rogers, then it's probably okay for a baby pair of Eat up. That's it. I'll use the veggie face for 6,000, but change broccoli into ice cream. I knew you'd figure it out. Now, can we please eat our ice cream? I've been waiting for this all day. Sure. I'm excited for ice cream, too. Hey, what about me? Yeah, what about him? And get me some, too, please. Every time she hits the wall, she gets back up again. That is resilience. Almost done and got it. What you got, Park Ranger? My latest gadget, Dino Remote Control. It can pause, play, rewind, and fast forward any dinosaur just by pointing it at them. Wanna see? Are you sure it's safe? Sure. If you say so. Come here, little lady. I can't believe it! It worked! I thought you said... Never mind. And now, for the real test. Let me try to rewind you. I've been thinking. Orson, maybe it's time we tell Park Ranger Sam the truth. The truth about what? Santa Claus? <laughs> What's the truth about Santa Claus? That he's a really good gift giver. Come on, it's not a big secret. No, I've been thinking we should tell Sam once and for all that she's an invention of the Dino Master. I mean, if I were a robot, I'd want an app. You'd tell me if I was, right? Yes. I'm a robot? No, 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 of course you're not a robot. And you know me. I am physically incapable of telling a lie. <laughs> Maybe I'm a robot. Wait, are you sure this is a good idea? Well, if my calculations are correct, pressing this button will remind our baby Dino to go back to where she started. Rex Ranch! Thanks! Should we go 
shine on a bigger rhino? Yes. What could possibly go wrong? Sam, do you have a second? Sure, what's up? We have some news for you that might sound a little strange. Is it about Santa Claus? Because I already know. What about Santa Claus? That he can't possibly deliver all those presents in one night. He can't? <clears throat> uh, which is why he has 36 hours on account of... The multiple time zones across the globe. Everybody knows this. Right! Right! Everybody knows this. Anyway. Sam, there's something very unique about you that Park Ranger Orson and I thought you should know. Okay. You know the Dino Master, right? Sworn enemy of the T-Rex Ranch Park Rangers, of course. Yeah, he invented you. That's ridiculous. How do you invent a person? Well, that's just it. You're actually a robot with three settings, Real Girl, Robo Girl, and the Dino Master's Henchman. I don't recommend the third setting. We rescued you from the Dino Master's control, rebooted you, and changed your settings to Real Girl so you wouldn't remember that you were a robot. But if you want, we can change you back to Robo Girl so that you'd have your robot powers as well. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a minute. Imagine that. <laughs> okay, so if I'm a robot, then I have to have some sort of control panel, right? Exactly. <laughs> what about a pteranodon? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah. Well, I want to test out something bigger, like a triceratops or stegosaurus. That big enough for ya? Um, technically, but I think a gigantosaurus is a little bigger. Asher! Kidding! Kidding! going to reset me and change my settings to Robo Girl? Correct. Okay, I'm not trying to be mean, but this is the most ridiculous thing ever. I mean, you can't just... <clears throat> that was weird. As I was saying... I hope this hologram finds you well. You are Sam, the secret autonomous machine. If this Sam shall reach you in error, please return her to the evil Dino Raptor. Pair me, the Dino Master. I'll turn this off. <laughs> Did I just project that hologram from my eyeballs? Pretty cool, huh? Um, I'm not sure. I need a minute or two to myself. Robot Blues. I've seen it happen. It's okay. She needs this time. Well, like my mom always said, be kind and rewind. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I knew that. You did? 
Do you think I'm weird? Of course not. I think robots are awesome, and girls are... Well, let's just say it all evens out. Thanks, Asher. That makes me feel better. I would hug you, but... We don't need to hug. Hey, where's Maisie? Oh, well, hopefully she's still on pause between the jaws of a hungry T-Rex. What? I'll tell you the whole story on the way there. Let's go! Hmm. I see your problem. Luckily, you have a full-fledged robot park ranger ready to help. What do we do? As soon as I give you the signal, press play and stand back. Hit it! story. Actually, I can tell you the whole thing in 8.7 seconds. So I'm a robot, but it's cool. <laughs> Is there something you're not telling me about Santa Claus? You can't lie, remember? All right, Park Ranger, here's the truth. Santa isn't Really a native of the North Pole. I knew it. Is he from the Midwest? I just get that vibe, don't you? Yeah. It's been a while. We should take the babies and head back to HQ. Good call. Hey. The gang's all here. Maisie, doing all right? You're looking a bit pale. Oh, it's because a T-Rex almost ate me and I was frozen between his jaws for what felt like a very long time. So yes, it's been a day. Thanks for asking. Another day at the ranch. Ah, good point. What's that, Asher? The new gadget? Yeah, but it's broken. I need to install a flash drive to do diagnostic. How about a thumb drive? Sure. My pinky's also a corkscrew if that helps anybody. Santa isn't really a native of the North Pole. <laughs> the nervous guy. Hey, Gumdrop, put Park Ranger Orson down for a lump of coal this year. That's right, Park Ranger Orson from T Rex Ranch. Flying that omnibus. Previously on T-Rex Ranch. But we shouldn't bother Orson while he's on vacation. Our golden dino egg isn't hatching, and we're wondering if there's actually a baby dino inside. Or if it's one of your tricks again! If you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, a full-grown dinosaur will appear inside the egg! Sounds easy enough. You say that, but first you must complete three trials. Cross the lake of fire, bow to the Patinosaurus Guardian, win a staring contest with the Stegosaurus. <laughs> this is the cutest one yet! Oh. M. Goodness. I can't believe the lake of fire is real. And the bridge is gone! What do we do? Lava's not in the Park Ranger handbook. First off, we don't panic. Let's put on our thinking caps. I just need them to walk over the lava. You've got to me. You can't be too careful about the lava. <gasps> I did it! I figured it out! You did? The lava's not real, just like at the ranger station. It's just another one of Dynamaster's tricks. Asher, I don't know if this is a good idea. Trust me. Nice work, Park Ranger! Told ya! <laughs> yeah, and here's something I don't say very often. You were right. Oh, I'm 
so glad to be in headquarters. <laughs> you said it. All I know is I'm gonna have a word with the Dino Master next time I see him. And what word will that be, Cock Ranger Bella? I'm very curious. Lava. Yes, of course. Well, nobody's in Fuego, so I'm guessing you've all passed my lake of fire. But who figured out that little puzzle? I did. Well done, Cock Ranger Asher. Clever and brave. It's a rare combination. What do you want, Dino Master? Oh, you know, chaos, confusion, a decent grocery store cookie, the same as everyone else. But mostly, my precious baby Triceratops and your backpack. No way. Besides, you're just a hologram. You can't even do anything. Fair point. I personally can't take the baby try off your hands because I'm banned from T-Rex Ranch. But I've sent someone who can. Should I answer it? Go ahead, Park Rangers. It'll be a fun surprise. Rangers, meet my latest and greatest invention, the Secret Autonomous Machine. I call her Sam for short. Oh, and do me a favor, don't pull her finger. <laughs> Ew, nothing gross. Wait, are you saying that she's a robot? Ding, ding, ding. Tell her what she's won, Sam. You have one hour to hand over the baby Triceratops, or I am going to self-destruct. day for a walk, isn't it, friends? Come on now, single file line, please. All right, that's better. Come on. May I have your baby Triceratops now? I have to bring her back to the Dino Master. If he's already in the bag, you can just hand it to me and I'll be on my way. All right, no rushing, no pushing. <laughs> Who do we have here? I'm Sam. She's a robot, a secret autonomous machine. Sent by the Dino Master to steal our baby try, or else she'll self-destruct. In 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, you believe her. Look, Sam. We know you're not a robot, and I don't know how you got mixed up with the Dino Master, but we're gonna lead you to the gate and say our goodbyes now. How do you know I'm not a robot? Yeah, how do you know? Because no one can make a robot that looks and acts like a kid. Robots nowadays look like dogs and dance to Motown. What if I proved it to you? Sure, why not? See that big rock? I'm going to run there and back as fast as I can. Whenever you're ready. That was amazing. Can you go even faster? If I want to. Look, that was uh, very speedy, and I sure hope you're part of a local track and field club, but... Uh, what is that? For the sound of the falls, a T-Rex. Definitely a T-Rex. Which means we should probably get out of here. I can't tell where she's coming from. My adrenaline levels are in the red. This is very exciting. Do you think she's hungry? 
hungry? Are you hungry? Uh huh. Ow! You bit me. That's a sharp little beak you've got there. Are you okay? Some sort of a gadget or a blaster you can use? Yes, I do. You have an onboard dino freeze ray. That's amazing. Okay, now I believe Sam's a robot. Good, because you have 23 minutes left before I go. All right, Sam, have a seat. Sure, but there are 30 seconds left before I go boom, unless you give me that baby dino to take back to the Dino Master. And just so you don't forget, I will activate a terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. Hey, little one. Terrifying alarm. Terrifying. What happened? <gasps> That's why the Dino Master said to not pull her finger, because then she'll shut down. Normally, I'd say avoid pulling anyone's finger, but in this case, I'd say it was the right decision. But the Dino Master's going to be wondering why Sam isn't back yet. She has to have some sort of control panel. Found it. I can do a reboot or a full factory reset and set her to Dino Master's henchman, Robo Girl, or Real Girl. How about Real Girl? I will miss her eyeball lasers. Wait, what? Tell you later. Here goes nothing. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Maisie. This is Asher, Orson, and Bella. And we are the T-Rex Ranch Park Rangers. Nice to meet you all. Uh, did I say my name was Sam? Yeah. Good. I can be very forgetful. Hello again, Park Rangers. I assume Sam is on her way with... Sam? What are you still doing there? Oh, I found my baby Triceratops? Who's the dude in the cape? That's the Dino Master. He's our bad guy. No! You've turned my creation against me. What's a guy gonna do to catch a break around here? Come on, it's getting ridiculous. He's very dramatic. Oscar Wayne. Okay, Sam, you're a secret autonomous machine who no longer has to report to the Dino Master. So the question is, what do you want to do? Can I stay here? I like your uniforms. It looks good on you. Thanks. How do you feel? had a very long day. Do you ever feel like that? Boy, have we. <laughs> Look, there they are. Wait, is that two Orsons? Forty-one minutes earlier. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Go back six steps, come on! All right, park rangers. While Maisie and Bella are off on their training mission, I need us to come up with some new and safe dino controlled devices. The Dino Master left us some powerful gadgets, but are often dangerous and unreliable. But we just started our game of T-Rex Trouble. Oh. Well, I guess I'll just keep this Reptile Wrangler Achievement Badge to myself. We're in! That's more like it. We've got an unruly Spinosaurus, so I'll need your ideas in an hour. But that's so soon. I mean, no sweat. <laughs> Plenty of time. Come on, little guy. Let's go. Playtime? Come on. You two ready to have some structured fun? 
pretty soon these little guys will be bigger than us. Like way bigger. Which is why we have to train them young. And we'll start with the spherical object retrieval. Fetch. Fetch the ball, Para. Go get it. Go ahead, Ty. That's OK. Maybe they're more into other sports? Hey, Sam, come up with ideas for new gadgets? Not yet, but any minute now. What's in the book? Oh, just some brainstorms. You did these all today? Yeah, mostly, but I better get working on some new prototypes. Good luck! Ugh. Okay, one more time. Fetch! That was the last toy I had! Any luck, Bella? No, but I've got a good feeling about this one. Ducks are birds, and birds are basically dinosaurs, right? So this will be like a family reunion. Okay, hmm. new plan. Well, I'll be an Allosaurus's uncle. Mira, you did it. You fetched. What's your excuse, mister? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Alexa. Hello, Park Ranger Sam. How can I help you? I need help coming up with a new idea for a dino gadget. Let me think about that. Also, would it be okay if I said it was my idea? I mean, you don't need an achievement badge, right? I'm sorry, my services are unavailable right now. Okay, well, what if we share credit? Like a collaboration? I'm sorry, my services are unavailable right now. I see, playing hard to get. Well, maybe you can't help me, but I know who can. Arexa, call the Dino Master. Calling the Dino Master. But remember, it was your idea, not mine. Oh, Park Ranger Sam, what can I do for you? Ready to come crawling back, are you? What? No. I need help coming up with a new idea, and I heard you're good with gadgets. Hmm. A little brainstorming, eh? Let's hear what you got so far. Okay. Um... What about a big, wide thing with cushions, so when the dinos get upset, they can sit on it and relax? You're looking at the couch right now, aren't you? No. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Since I'm feeling charitable today, I'll give you my worst idea, which is still ten times better than your best idea. Hey, Sam, almost ready? Yeah. All right, I'll go get Asher. Okay, now roll over. You are just the perfect little pair of Seraphis, aren't you? Ahem. <laughs> Still no luck, huh? It's so weird. Back at Dino HQ, this little guy loves to play with Asher, but when I try, it's like I'm not even there. Maybe it's all about enthusiasm. Show that you're really excited to play with him. You're right. Good note. Okay, buddy, go get the frisbee! No, no, don't get up. Watch me, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> On second thought, maybe we'll continue this lesson another time. Pack the babies. Asher, let's hear your pitch for the next Dino Control Gadget. Sure, I have a whole notebook of ideas. 
Uh, how about you just tell us your top three? Oh, top three. Okay. What's the best way to scare off an angry Allosaurus? This feels like a joke. We give up. How do you scare off an angry Allosaurus? Great question. Let me show you. Don't want to go extinct twice, right? Nicely done, Asher. Very effective. Next up, the boom boom whistle. It makes any dino that hears this instantly go poop. Wait! Sure it only works on dinosaurs. Um, I'm not 100% sure. In that case, let's save the poop your pants whistle for another day, huh? Talkie talkie! It can mimic anyone's voice. Here, catch. Hi, I'm Sam, and this is how I talk. Hi, I'm Orson, and I love rules. Hi, I'm Maisie. I'm like your cool big sister. So, what do you guys think? Very impressive, Asher. Although I'm sure Sam's got some great ideas of her own. Get on up there, Sam. Okay, so whenever birds eat crops on a farm, you need a scarecrow to get rid of them, right? So I made a scarecrow just for dinosaurs, the Scarodactyl. Are you amazed or frightened? I can't tell. Well, it's definitely scary. It looks just like you! <laughs> oh. Oops. Go for Orson. Maisie to Dino HQ! We need backup! We got a Spinosaurus situation that's about to get spinier! Oh, Spinosaurus. Got it, Park Rangers. On our way. But I may need to lay low. Me and Spiny do not get along. The Spinosaurus? He hates Park Ranger Orson. Wait, that gives me an idea! Sam, bring your Scarodactyl! Wait, is that two Orsons? I wasn't sure that it would, to be honest. Hey, Asher, can I borrow your little voice doohickey? Sure. All right, let's try this one more time. Hey, Ty. Fetch. <laughs> Whoa, how did you know that would work? I've seen how close Asher and Ty are. I think that each baby dino has their own favorite human. Oh, Kara, does that mean I'm your favorite? Sam, for your very handsome and well-dressed Scarodactyl, I present to you the Reptile Wrangler Achievement Badge. Great job, Park Ranger Sam. That was a great idea. And Asher, for improving in Sam's idea and helping save the day, I present to you the Teamwork Titan Achievement Badge. Wow, thanks. I'd also like to add that Asher had a lot of great ideas, like... Hey, what's this whistle? <laughs> Are you okay, Park Ranger Darren? No, I spilled coffee on the computer and now all the park cameras are down. Can you go guard the front gate until I get them back up? You know how finicky the fence can be and I want to be extra safe. I really need to get a spill-proof mug. Sort of like a sippy cup for adults? Yeah, sort of. Okay, off to guard duty. Boring. 
morning, I should have brought a snack. I have a snack for you. Ah! How'd you get here? I didn't even hear you. I have a light step. So I'm selling girl troop cookies if you're hungry for a snack. Uh, I'm not supposed to let anybody in right now. And I don't have any money. Um, uh, but the first box is free. Uh huh. I'll just hand them to you and then go. Free? I love free cookies. Okay, but only for one second. Park Ranger Darren, I have some free cookies. I repeat, I have some free cookies. Come and eat. How did you turn off the... Wait, did you say free cookies? I'm coming. Huh? Where'd she go? She's gone? That is so strange. And it's not even the season for girl troop cookies. What's that? A, a watch? GW. Hmm. Oh no! Gadget, Gadget wizard! wizard! Come on, we better go find her before she gets into too much trouble. She's good. Darn tootin'. <laughs> some cookies for some photos. <laughs> Here you go. I can't wait to post these online and make everyone jealous. <laughs> cookies for you and cookies for you. Everyone gets cookies. Okay, I'm getting something. I think it's her footsteps. They're getting closer. Are you getting anything on the dino tracker? Nope. There it is again. Uh, I think those are your footsteps. Mine? Yup, they're mine. You don't have a light step. That was definitely not me. Oh no, what happened? She looks sick. And there's vomit over there. This Triceratops must have a tummy ache. From what? We didn't even feed the dinos yet. Oof. Cookies. It looks like Olivia's been feeding them on her own. And some of these dinos can't eat cookies. It makes them sick. Yeah, or maybe they ate too many of them. That happened to me once. Well, we better stop this cookie party soon, or we'll have a lot more dinos with tummy aches. Let me see. I think I can reverse this. Olivia, if you can hear me, stop giving the dinos cookies. It's making them sick. I repeat, cookies are making the dinos sick. Barf alert, barf alert. Dino barf alert. <laughs> making them sick? But these are just tiny little cookies, and those are huge dinosaurs. <laughs> They're just saying that so they can make me come back so they can kick me out. Um, maybe I'll just double check. Can you go get the dino tummy medicine from the supply kit? Yup, I'm on it. Silly cookie. From now on, I'm eating vegetables! Those veggies better watch out. All right, time to get my laser mover to get this Triceratops over into some cover. There we go, girl. Right there. Them. Really, I just wanted to take a photo. How can I fix it? 
Well, Park Ranger Asher is going to go get some dino medicine. But in the meantime, did you throw any more cookies around? Well, then I guess you're going cookie hunting. OK. Wait a minute. I know how we can find them fast. Oh, is that our fossil finder? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was trying to find a fossil. You know, to keep it a souvenir. Anyways, I can reprogram this to detect sugar instead. <laughs> wow, that was fast. I'm an honor student. OK. You go find the rest of the cookies. We'll get the ones here and tend to the sick dinos. All right. Gadget wizard, to the rescue! Come on. I know there's some around here somewhere. Aha! Found you! Just one more area to check. Here comes the gadget wizard! That's a lot of cookies. No wonder this dino's sick. Ooh, we better hurry, or we're gonna have a lot more sick dinos on our hands. More barf. Unfortunately, yes. Two jars. Oh, that's right. One of them's expired, but I don't remember which one. Taste test? I guess we'll have to. The fresh one will taste like grape. The expired one will taste, well, like rotten grape. Yuck! Have fun! Yeah, this is definitely the expired one. Yeah. Ew! All right, that's the fresh one. You better throw one into her mouth. I don't want to do it. You do it. I don't want to do it. You do it. I can't. I can't. It's too gross. Well, we got to give her the medicine somehow. Let's see if Park Ranger LB has anything we can use. Hey, Park Ranger LB. We have some sick dinos here, and we were wondering if you have anything we can use to give them their medicine. And we don't want to get too close, because what if she throws up while we give her the medicine? Oh, no. I'll send you something that can help. Cool. Thanks, Park Ranger LB. No problem. See ya. Cool, a slingshot. Oh, well, that makes sense. Uh, let's get a little closer. I can smell it from here. Yeah, you better make this quick. Ooh, nice shot. Right into her mouth. She's chewing. She swallowed it. Mm, awesome. <laughs> She's starting to feel better. But I'm not. I'll be right back. You take care of any more sick dinos. Okay, but do you want a fresh? Oh, okay, I tried. Hmm. Aha! Yes, gotcha. Only one last cookie to go. And this is the farthest I walked, so it should be around here somewhere. Where could it be? No, no, don't eat that. You're going to get a stomach ache. Uh. All right. Here goes nothing. Park Ranger Darren, 
All sick dinos have been taken care of. Did Olivia finish collecting cookies? Yes, T-Rex! <laughs> I guess she's not used to running from T-Rexes. Definitely not. Here's the cookies. Ha ha. Oh, she forgot her camera. Perfect. I guess we can delete those photos she took. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to give her her watch back. Oh well, I guess she'll be back on the ranch sooner or later. Here you go, partner. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Well, we better go clean up some dino throw up and some human throw up too. Ew! Hey, wait for me! Being a park ranger at T-Rex Ranch is no joke. We have big dinosaurs and small dinosaurs. We have meat-eating dinosaurs and plant-eating dinosaurs. No, oh, we have dinosaurs that like to play games and dinosaurs that don't like to play games. I call them dinosaur losers. <laughs> but I'm here to teach you everything you need to know, Park Ranger Rosie. I'm so excited. Do you think I'll meet a T-Rex today? Oh, you might. And my job is to teach you everything you need to know in case that very scary situation should arise. Now, step one of Park Ranger orientation is to read the Park Ranger Handbook. Got it. So let's see what this handbook has to say. It says, don't read this handbook. Listen to Park Ranger Andy. No. If that's what the book says, that's what the book says. Now, instead of reading some boring old book, we're going to do something fun. Gadgets. Whoa. Do you know what all these gadgets do? Well, of course. They don't just let any old park ranger teach park ranger orientation. What does this one do? Well, that one is, uh... I mean, it's, uh... I have no idea. Let's try it. Whoa! It's a portal blaster. Where do you think the portal goes? Uh, good question. Area. What a convenient way to travel. I think this blaster will take us anywhere on the ramp. It's hard to tell exactly where. If I'm right, this portal will take us to Fossil Forest. Well, let's find out. <gasps> Fossil Forest! You did it, Park Ranger Rosie. But now we really should get back to home base. I still have a lot to teach you, and my favorite part of orientation is still coming up. What's that? Lunch! Okay, setting a course for the picnic tables. Uh, Park Ranger Rosie, this isn't the picnic area. I know what happened. I set it to the right coordinates. Maybe it's broken. Uh oh. Don't worry, Park Ranger Andy. We'll get back in time for lunch. We better, or we're gonna be somebody's lunch. <laughs> What do you do? We gotta find a place to hide! Why is she chasing us? I don't know. Maybe it's because I forgot her birthday? Uh, I'm sorry. Like, I remembered four days later, but then it was kind of awkward to say something, you know? Let's hide behind that tree! Wait, look! She's not chasing us! She's chasing that raptor! I have an 
你。Which is Ender? I think to the other side of T Rex Mountain, but I'm not totally sure. Hmm. You're getting quite the orientation out here all day. I'm a pretty good teacher, aren't I? No, don't answer it! Ah! Use your portal blast and send us back to home base. But what if it doesn't work? Uh, anywhere is better than here. Good point. Uh, uh. Oh no! I thought Park Ranger Rosie was right behind me. I lost Park Ranger Rosie on her first day. She could be anywhere. This is definitely not right. I find Park Ranger Rosie. Oh, I know. Alexa. Yoo-hoo! Alexa! Show me Park Ranger Rosie's location. What's this? Park Ranger Rosie? This is not connected to the T-Rex Ranch Network? We're connected to Alexa in step four of the Park Ranger orientation! <gasps> Beginning to think I shouldn't have skipped the boring parts. That's weird. Why isn't the portal blaster blasting portals? Where are all these portals coming from? <gasps> Park Ranger Rosie must be sitting up on the other side. I'm coming for you, Rosie! Out <sighs> in there. Okay. That worked. Well, I knew that book would come in handy sooner or later. Focus, what do you gotta do? Oh yeah, I gotta find Park Ranger Rosie! Inverted portal switch. So when you find yourself in an upside down, inverted, or backward situation. I think that's me. Flip on the switch. Here goes nothing. Yes! Yes! I'm back! Now, all I have to do is portal back to home base and meet up with Park Ranger Andy! Oh, come on, Portal Blaster! What did I ever do to you? Ah! How am I gonna get back without the Portal Blaster? Think, Rosie, think! I got it! If I can identify what type of dinosaur is making all that noise, then I can figure out where I am on the map and get back to home base. I just hope it's not a dinosaur that likes to eat kids. Three horns, strony fro, and loves to munch on leaves. Definitely a triceratops, which means I must be in Herbivore Valley. And home base must be that way. Mm -hmm. 
Park Ranger, I turn out to be. I'm not worthy to wear this vest, this neckerchief. In fact, I'm not worthy to wear this Park Ranger outfit at all. Sure you are, Park Ranger Andy. No. Park Ranger Rosie, where did you? How? I did I, I, I looked everywhere for you. I had a little help from the Park Ranger handbook. And while I was waiting for you, I added some new pages on the Portal Blaster. Tricky little gadget. Huh, well I'll be. I guess that the boring parts of training are just as important as the fun parts. You know, I'm gonna do things the official way next time. Well in that case, can we start my orientation over? Say no more. Welcome to your first day as a T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger. Now step one of your orientation is to read the handbook. Speaking of, where did I leave my handbook? That chip there, huh? Mm. Mm. Mm, good. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not supposed to happen at Park B. They're already out of Park Rangers over there. I mean, what are they doing in California? Hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? Mm, I know. Check Park Ranger LB's instruction sheet for what to do when they're out of Park Rangers at Park B. Oh, of course. Call in more park rangers. Okay, so we press this, and this, and this. Okay, yeah, there we go, there's a list, okay. Man, this is just such a good list. He, why does he always put so many good park rangers in here? See, so, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yes. Now the computer's done the work for me, he chose the next park ranger. All right, okay, let's see. Now I just need to get them to report for duty. Not duty, <laughs> duty. Okay, here we go. There. Alert sent to report for duty. Speaking of duty, that reminds me. I gotta go clean up the Stegosaurus paddock. Oh, okay. Take my chips and go get the shovel. Was that a Patinosaurus? We've never had one of those here before. Did you two see that? A Patinosaurus just flew by. Where? There's nothing there. It was just here! But we don't have any of those dinos at this park. I know, but it looked exactly like it. It will be back. You'll see. Anyway, you must be the new ranger. I'm Park Ranger Zoe. And I'm Park Ranger Naomi. I'm Cameron. Cam for short. <laughs> well, it definitely matches you. Oh yeah, I just love capturing the awesome moments of each day. I hope I can capture some cool dinosaurs while I'm here. Well, just make sure you don't share it with the rest of the world. We have to keep the ranch a secret to keep our dinos safe and so that no secret dino agents take them away. Copy that. These will be for our dino database only. Good. Speaking of, we have a video from our dino database for you. Welcome to T-Rex Ranch. You're officially a park ranger. How cool is that? Make sure to learn all the dinosaurs, all your gadgets, and all the shortcuts there at the ranch so you can always get away from T-Bone. You're a park ranger now, so it's your job to keep from getting eaten by all these dinosaurs. I know you're gonna do great. Good luck at Park B. Thanks, Park Ranger Aaron. That was a masterpiece. So let's go train you on how to give the dino some water. Park Ranger Naomi, can you stay behind and update our dino guidebook? Maybe you could add beat the dino? Uh, maybe. I'll wait until it's confirmed. Fair enough. Let's go. So this thing can be finicky, so make sure you aim it away from your face or you might get splashed. <laughs> there he is again! Where? Ah, Cam! Oops, sorry. Aw, oh, he's gone now. Well, he's fast. When training goes wrong. Hey! Sorry, just documenting to learn. Fair enough. Let's go. Don't put that on the dino database. I probably look really silly. <laughs> yeah, you do. I saw Pete again! I didn't see him. 
Are you sure it wasn't that Tyrannodon again? She's a troublemaker. Yes, I'm sure. But I couldn't find anything about Pete in the Dino database. I know, but I really saw him. He's in a dangerous area of the park. I have to go save him. Right now? We need to feed the dinos. Right now. You two get started on the dino feedings. I have to go save Pete. Are you sure you're not chasing another conspiracy? No, I'm not. I promise. He's in the carnivore area of the park, and it's very dangerous, and I have to go get him out of there. Pete! Come on, I know you're out there somewhere. Give me a sign, buddy. I knew it. Now I just need to put up the dome laser fence so I can keep you in this area where it's safe and where people will believe me. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna find you, Pete, if it's the last thing I do. Pete? That was fun. Those herbivores sure were hungry. Yeah, they're my favorite dino speed. Can I record you talking about herbivores? It'll help new rangers learn. <laughs> learn from me? Sure. Park Ranger Naomi, why are herbivores your favorite? Because they're easy to deal with. And they eat plants. And they won't try to eat us. But they can get a little cranky. So you have to be careful. Come on! Just wait! I've almost got him! Be right back! Stay here! But we need to feed the dino soon! And you've never won from a big, scary T-Rex before? It's okay. I can do it, really. Okay, but you have to do whatever I say. That T-Rex is no joke. Got it! I'll follow your lead. Wait, I got something for your video. Really? Awesome! A good leader doesn't wait around for things to get done. She does them herself. That was so good! Thanks. I want to be a senior part ranger someday. Come on. Hey! Where you at, boy? I got some yummy snacks for you. Where are you? Oh, not you, Pteranodon. Oh, guess I owe you lunch. <laughs> Have a fish. Bowen appetite. Pete! We have to get out of here, now. Oh, oh please, can I just get one glimpse of T-Bone? A quick one? Fine, but you have to be really quiet. Here. <laughs> Gotta have Park Ranger Asher teach me how to use this thing. <sighs> Pete? Still there, buddy? <laughs> there you are. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh no, you're right by the carnivores. If I put up the dome fence now, you'll be safe and secure inside this area. And away from the carnivores, away from danger. Maybe I can get Cam to snap a couple of pictures for proof. <sighs> yes! Atta boy, now you're safe. <laughs> Aw, look at that. You're still flying around. <laughs> You're getting kind of close. Still going. You're getting a little too close. Are you flying at me? <gasps> You're flying at me! Ah! Oh no! Ah! Whoa! 
There he is! As long as we stay quiet and low, the T-Rex won't notice us. Okay, I'm quiet and low! Hold on! This lighting is perfect! Okay, Cam, we can't risk him seeing us! This is my passion, Naomi! A real artist like me needs to take risks! Remember the time you filmed go and it kicked you in your bone? Uh... Naomi? Well, remember when you filmed a crow and it broke your legs? It's Naomi! Well, it's gonna be a lot worse if you get caught by a... T-Rex! <laughs> Or was? Guess he found his lunch. <laughs> you were right. Pete is real. I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. It's okay. But with all the kooky things that go on around here, I don't blame you. But how are we going to escape without Pete chasing us? He's so fast. Maybe we need some sort of distraction. <gasps> Maybe, but I'm all out of fish! <coughs> oh, there he goes. <coughs> Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to use the flash. Cam, you did it! You saved us! Yeah, no apology necessary. You spooked him, and now you saved us without us even having to run. Good job. Oh, uh, thanks. Let's go. Oh. Mission log 620. Sometimes finding a dinosaur means it turns around and finds you. So, be prepared. They're uploading all footage to the I know database. Wait a minute. We have an unread message from earlier. Hey, Park Rangers, how are you doing? We're getting a little backed up here. We're going to send over some more dinos. Oh, that's where Pete came from. You should send him your picture of Pete. There. All right. How about some cake, Ranger? You earned it. And you earned this. Cool. Thanks. Who wants some cake? Me, 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 me,